Some scenes are very easy to track, but they are very difficult in solving the camera. In this video, I will show you the different side of tracking and what you don't know about tracking in Blender. As you can see, in this scene, I've tracked this footage and I've done much pretty everything I need to do. I've cleaned up the track, the one I showed you in the other video, and I've done everything I could and it's ready to solve. So let's just turn on the key, then solve this and let's see what we get from this. So as you can see, that's pretty much everything. We have the solve of 2.3, so which is good, and the curve of the Z curve is very, very straight. So that means the solving is good. Okay, so, but there's something different about all these things. I will show you in a bit. So let's do the normal routine we did. So let's add tracking to same, and let's just rotate it to make sure we orient it properly by picking three of the marker and setting it as a floor. So pick one that you want to set as origin and set that as the origin. So that is done and you can see that we have seen something different in the viewport and this is really not working well because this viewport, we don't even see the camera anymore. So even though I just turn on the tracking, I still don't have anything in the scene. You can see that. But when you play it, let's just take a moment to select the camera first, but that is not also working. And we just have to solve this camera and we did it and everything is not working properly. It may happen in your scene also, but in this video, I will show you guys how to fix that. So let me just play this in the timeline so to see what is going on in the scene. As you can see that this video is just flicking around and that is not what we really want in the scene. So what I just do now, let's go back to the camera tracking to see what we can do to this. Before we do that, let's just take a moment to do something different. Let's check this and let's know where we can add a new camera to this and set the tracking in it. So let's add a new camera just to check and to make sure we are doing something good. So let's just add this camera and when I just view on this camera, we are viewing on the other camera. So I have to select this camera then. You can see that can even select the camera. So something, this is very, very crazy. So what I will have to do now is to delete the first camera. So that's the only way I can do it. So I'll just select the camera, then I will delete that. So then I can select the other camera, you can see that. So what I have to do now is just to check the constraint and to set it to make sure, let's set the background first. So to see the background in the scene. And the, and the timeline also, let's drag this in the scene. Now let's check the timeline. Okay, that is done. So now we can play the timeline through here, but you see that it's, uh, we are not seeing the tracking in the scene. So you have to do the constraint to set it to the camera. So now I go to the constraint, then I will just click on the camera server. Now it has the camera server, and you can see that what is going on in the camera is that the camera is very, very shaky. I can see that it's very, very, very shaky. So there's only one way to fix this, and it's only one click, and everything will be solved. And what is going on in the scene is that you can see that the camera is very, very shaky. Now let's go back to the camera tracking and see what we can do. Now in this scene, you can see that this video, there's something different about this video, especially. So you can see that we have this cough and a street, everything is, seems working. But when you play the video, you will notice something, that the camera is, the real camera is shot with is not moving in parallax. It has no parallax in the scene, and it's very difficult for Blender to actually solve this camera properly. So that's the error in it. So to fix this, we have to go back. Let's go back to the solving. Now, instead of choosing keyframe, we choose tripod because the camera is just panning around the scene. It's not actually moving through 3D space. So let's turn on tripod instead of keyframe and let's solve this once again. And I promise you this will fix this problem. So you can see that we get the error of 0.13 in this, which is quite a little bit higher than that. So now you can see that we have our camera tracking in the viewport in the camera view. So you can see that the, everything is working fine. Let's go to the view to see what is going on in the scene. You can see that we have the camera here and everything is really working fine, you can see. And this solved the problem we are having on this scene. 
So that's pretty much everything you need to know about this. And there are some video you will shoot and you have to track it. And the tracking is not working. It may happen because you don't have many parallax in the scene. And because the camera, the real camera you shot with is not really moving in 3D space. And that might be your own case. In this case, that is how you can deal with such track and how to fix that. So you can see that when you play this now, you have your 3D scene and everything is working nice. You can do everything you want to do with your VFX and you are good to go. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.